Good morning. Out in the middle of nowhere today, and I've heard a rumour that somewhere around here there's a Land Rover. Shall we go and see? Okay. And there we are. I've discovered a discovery. definitely got a bit of a patina to it. Tires are all up. Okay, that'll do. Now, as you probably guessed, I know perfectly well that this is here. This is my Land Rover. This is the Land Rover that we bought when we first moved here. We actually did our moving with this Land Rover. And the children named her Lucy. So, Lucy she shall be. There's been, Lucy's got some issues and she's actually been sat in this driveway now for just over a year. About time, did something about it. First thing I think we'll see, let's see if we can wake Lucy up. Bonnet release is under here. Okay, somewhere under here is the secondary bonnet release. That, that thing there. <laughs> okay, always make sure fix the bonnet stay properly. Land Rovers do bite. messy lump in here. This is a 2.5 litre turbo direct injection. It's a Land Rover 300 TDI. Actually the last generation of the 1958 2.5 litre diesel engine. Okay, so we've got an engine It's even got some oil in. Yep. Good 
going to need a battery whoops clutch fluid brake fluid that one's the diesel filter I don't think there's much fuel. Priming pump for the fuel system. Not doing much, but we'll give it a go. And water, coolant. Going to need to get some water. This one power steering fluid. Okay. So I've topped up the cooling water, pop the lid back on, I need a fully charged battery, check the oil, this is the 300 TDI engine, which is actually the last generation Land Rover engine, one of the last generation engines anywhere to be honest which has no electronic engine controls. It's entirely a mechanically controlled diesel engine. In fact, when the British Army were specifying their last generation of Land Rovers, the Defender Wolf series, they actually chose this engine over the TDI-5 which was already in production simply because it doesn't have any electronics okay here we are take this off very secure what's that? Hello Googs, my assistant. Anyway, I have the key. It's a bit wet in here. I think the sunroof leaks. Condensation, quite a lot of mould. Okay. Keys in. Make sure we're in neutral. Clutch works. Got it. I was having some trouble turning the key, but it's freed up now, so let's see how we get on. Got some lights, ABS. That was the uh, preheat just going out. Give it a go.
chug, 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 chug. Definitely a diesel. Next step, see if it'll move. Okay, motor's running. Clutch down into first gear. Yeah, first. Yep, yeah, first. Handbrake off. Transmission handbrake on these in the middle. Give it a little bit of Try not to kill Google. <laughs> Reverse. Back into neutral. First again. Faster. Oh dear. Brakes work. She's not very quick though. I think we're in low range. Yeah. Fitch into high. That's more like it, much smoother. Yep, getting dripped on here from the condensation from the sunroof. Light's much too bright. Okay, so the Land Rover runs and it drives forward, backwards, the brakes work pretty good. Now there are, or well, there were, some issues with this Land Rover. There still are. So let's have a look at some of the things we need to fix. Apart from the interior, which is headlinings dropped. Pretty mouldy. Mechanically, it seems pretty much okay. There's a bit of an oil leak, but like they say, that's just the Land Rover marking its territory. They always have oil leaks. The problem uh, with most discoveries is underneath. Rust. Rust, rust, rust. Rust in that top part of the chassis. Oh dear. Now you can get a boot to go over this. So that's not actually that bad to fix. I guess probably under these sills a bit crusty as well. Even got rust, look, in the spare wheel mount. That will need to be replaced. Definitely some patination. Needs a clean. And I happen to know on this side, that hole isn't very serious, but there is actually a hole in the chassis behind the spring. Which means the back axle is going to have to come out. That's Lucy the Land Rover. 
1996 Discovery 1 300 TDI is actually an XS model rust mold but it does run and drive can I fix it keep watching to find out in fact subscribe like hit that notification button there will be more